Me and my family, we just got back from Lamar Jackson Restaurant up in Pompano, play action, soul food, and it's always on point. Y'all know we done been there plenty of times, and the food is always great. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. It really is like that consistently. So if you ever come down here, please go. But speaking of being down here in Florida, maybe not South Florida, but Florida, somebody else um, who we've been watching there in Florida as well. And that is Jadavian Clowney. Uh, and it came out today that Jadavian Clowney, he is visiting the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if I take y'all back just a couple days ago when it first broke, uh, not only that Jadavian Clowney had visited the Baltimore Ravens, but when the news broke that Jadavian Clowney got an offer, the Ravens offered Jadavian Clowney a contract. I said in that video that it's just weird because normally stuff like that doesn't come out from the Ravens. So I figured it was coming from Jadavian Clowney's side just so he could try to garner some interest from another team. So he could either get more money from another team or get more money from the Ravens because that would essentially put the Ravens in a bidding war with somebody else for Jadavian Clowney's services. So that would put pressure on both teams if they really want Jadavian Clowney. Obviously, the Ravens do because they, they sent him a contract offer. They're like, hey, Jadavian Clowney, we want to sign you. We want to bring you in. We want you to be a Baltimore Ravens. But now with him visiting the Jacksonville Jaguars, this could mean a couple of different things. It could mean one, hey, maybe Jacksonville is significantly interested in Jadavian Clowney. They really could be. That's a real possibility. Another thing, it could be him sort of playing with them. Well, I mean, they got to be interested in order to bring him in for a visit. So I, I believe the interest is real, but Jadavian Clowney could be using them to put more pressure on the Ravens. Because, again, maybe he got that contract offer from Baltimore and was like, mm, that's straight, but <laughs> I could use a little bit more. I, I, I need a little more money for my services. So Ravens, they, they got a decision to make. They, they got choices to make. They can either be like, look, we want Jadavian Clowney. We feel like he's a great fit, but we're not willing to budge on our offer. Jacksonville, he's all yours. You could have him. Or they could be like, you know what? We really like Jadavian Clowney. We feel like he'll be a perfect fit. <sighs> We'll add another meal to it. We'll add another couple of meal and incentives to the deal. We'll try to sweeten the deal that much more because we really want you to be a Baltimore Raven. So this is, this is the game, man. This is the game. This is part of the game within the game. And we talked about this in a video. Well, it's business, man. It's business. And I am never going to be mad at somebody trying to get their bread. And that's what it seems like is going on with Jadavian Clowney. He's trying to get his bread. Now, um, when you look at, when you compare the two teams with one another, Jacksonville Jaguars, Baltimore Ravens, uh, two teams with young, talented quarterbacks, obviously Lamar Jackson, you know him, but then you got Trevor Lawrence on the other end. Trevor Lawrence, hey, that boy going to be nice, man. Did this thing, like and in the playoffs last year, you saw Trevor Lawrence through four interceptions. And it was funny because I, I will never forget that game because we tweeted before the game started, Trevor Lawrence is going to throw four touchdowns in this game. He said it before the game started. And when he threw them four interceptions, had people tweeting me all kind of crazy stuff. What are you talking about? What are you thinking? What are you, what? you don't know what you're saying. Don't watch football. Blah, 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 blah. And he came back and threw four touchdowns. And ooh, I went through every single person that said something crazy and replied to all of them. Every last one. Because I was on petty mode that time. But anyway, Trevor Lawrence is nice, too. Um, the Jacksonville Jaguars, when you compare them to the Baltimore Ravens, uh, Jadavian Clowney can look and see which one he feels is closer to a championship. If that is even something that he is interested in. Because, again... NFL is not all about championships. Not every player is looking to go to a team that's a true contender. They're not. Like, as fans, yeah, we want our team to be contenders. We want our teams to go all the way. We want, we want our team to win every single Super Bowl there is. But from the players' perspective, they don't all look at it like that. Yeah, hey, Super Bowls are great. But these guys are trying to get paid. They're trying to make some money. Because that's, that's what it is. They, this is their job. So, yeah, having that ultimate success as a Super Bowl champion would be great. But then at the same time, 
you don't want to be no broke Super Bowl champ. Like, hey, Super, Super Bowl ring was nice. But you don't want the Super Bowl ring to be worth more than your paycheck is if you're an NFL player. Because that's a real possibility. And there are people who are obviously on sort of the, uh, the, the lower end of the roster, salary-wise, where a Super Bowl ring may be worth more than their weekly paycheck. But that's, I mean, that's life in the NFL. That doesn't make them a bad player or anything like that. Uh, Cause again, like I always say, it's only one percent of people that make it to the league. So anyway, well, with Jadavian Clowney, um, and the Baltimore Ravens, it was put out there that the Ravens are, they still been talking to Jadavian Clowney, they still been talking to Kyle Vinoy. Um, so <coughs> excuse me, and it was said that they talked to some other free agent uh, edge DN guys as well. So apparently they 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 keeping their options open, but. If Jadavian Clowney is at the top of your list, I mean, it seems that he is. If you offered him a deal, this could mess that up because I'm not sure how much money the Baltimore Ravens have, um, but I would be pretty sure that the Jacksonville Jaguars most likely got some more. But either way, uh, this could really mess up their plans with Jadavian Clowney. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Um... I think then the Ravens, they already lost. Yeah, they already lost one defensive end to the Jaguars. Remember um, Dwayne Smoot. Dwayne Smoot, who played for the Jaguars, uh, and he had been playing for them for the past couple of years, and the Ravens were interested in him. He was even scheduled to, to visit the Baltimore Ravens. He was getting ready to come out, fly out to Baltimore and all that. But Jacksonville said, hold on, wait there, buddy. You coming right back home. And they signed him to a deal. Signed him to a deal. So, will the Jaguars end up one up in the Ravens again when it comes to adding another defensive end? We're going to see. But, team, keep it clean. When we find out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. So, when we find out, we'll let you know. And I know it's the same thing, vice versa. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And even though he had a great visit with the Baltimore Ravens, just Justina Anderson reported that he liked what he saw, he liked his visit with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm sure they treated him very well, especially, I mean, when you want somebody to join your team, you offer them a contract, you're definitely going to treat them very well. But despite all that, just like Jadavian Clowney told the Baltimore Ravens after that visit ended, I'm out.